Fitness Makeup Your Face where I teach you how to make up your face. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. Fame Expo was about two weekends ago and um, I got quite a bit of goodies and I wanted to share it with you guys. However, today's video is just going to be a little bit more laid back. I'm not even filming on like my main camera. I'm using my vlog camera and um, if it seems like I'm looking like above you guys, it's because the viewfinder like flips up and I'm just chilling here by the wall and it's kind of dirty because my dog likes to like rub his body all over the wall and he's like a very dirty dog. I got a bunch of stuff, like a bunch. And um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and dive in, see what I got, and I hope you guys like this video. I'll go ahead and start with the thing that I already wore. I just wore this shirt yesterday, and it says Eat Sleep Contour, and I got this from Time LA, which, by the way, their stuff is really cute. I wish I could have bought more stuff, but um, yeah, I was mostly there for the makeup, not so much for the shirt, but um, I had gone with my friend Isabel, and we both got the same shirt. So now we're twinsies, and I really like it. It's so cute, and like even the bag that it came in was really cute. I'll go ahead and mention the thing that I got for free. So um, this was like forever ago. You guys are probably never gonna see it again, but I was on NYX Cosmetics' Snapchat, and I was applying this new NYX double stacked mascara so basically you get like a mascara one with like the fibers and then you have to like reapply the same black mascara and i actually really like this i was not expecting to like it because the fiber mascara doesn't usually work for me and on top of that i asked them if the mascara was waterproof and they said no it's not however like it just makes my lashes look so long and like full. I'll start off with Namie's because that was probably like the place that I was the most excited to go to. I went to Namie's and they had different brands available. So there was like Anastasia, there's La Rock, Smashbox, Laura Mercier. Like they had so many different brands. And basically what you do is you could go to different booths at Namie's, pick what you want, then they bring it to the cashier and then you like pay for everything all at once. So I got quite a few things from different brands. So um, I'll go ahead and start with Makeup Forever. I got the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, and this is just a setting spray. And I have never tried this, but you know, I figure it's Makeup Forever. They are really good at like their products and stuff. So I thought I'd give that a shot. And then I also went ahead and grabbed the Makeup Forever Sense Eyes, which is like their makeup remover for their eyes. And my friend Haley actually really likes this stuff. And so I thought, well, she likes it. You know, it must be good, right? So I went ahead and picked it up and I'm going to give that a shot. I always have such a hard time removing my waterproof mascara. So I figured this might be something I could try out and hope it works. I also picked up the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Primer. This one's like the smoothing one. I actually have the Smashbox Pore Filler. And I like that one a lot. But I feel like this one just like kind of does it a little bit better, I don't know. Now, I also have the mattifying primer that I purchased at Sephora, and that one I felt like makes my makeup really crusty. I didn't really have high hopes for this one, but as I've started to use it more and more, I noticed it really does work, and it really does smooth out your pores. I don't have the other one. I think I must have left it in my room, but I also got two of the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liners. So this one's in 1C, and I know you guys probably have heard me talk about it a million times, but I love the one in the shade 3C. That one's like a little bit deeper. So I picked up one of the 3C and then this 1C, and 1C is a little bit lighter nude, um, but I love the formula of these. They're definitely waterproof, and the reason why I picked this one up was because my friend Roxette, who I met at Generation Beauty LA, um, she mentioned this in one of her hauls from Sephora, and I was like, oh my gosh, if she loves it, I probably am gonna love it. So I went ahead and picked it up, and yes, I was right, she was right, I love it. From Anastasia, I picked up two of the liquid lipsticks. I got the shade Dulce and the shade Crush, and they're both like nude colors. When I swatched them, one of them looked a lot pinkier than the other one did, so don't worry, they're not the same. Will it focus? Oh, it focuses! My my other camera doesn't do this, so this is like really exciting. So this one that I'm showing you right now is Crush. Okay, this is Dulce. 
I've actually worn both of them and I really like them. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I actually have like a ton of them and so I really don't need any more, but I just figured since these ones were like the new releases, I thought I must get my hands on them since they're already here. And then lastly from Namie's, I picked up one more thing. I picked up a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. Now I don't have that many products from Bobbi Brown. I probably only have like two or three things, but it's just because her stuff is like really expensive. But I have been eyeing the Shimmer Brick for life I've wanted a shimmer brick for like ever and Isabel if you're watching this she also bought the same shimmer brick but she like questions herself <laughs> she's like why did I buy your shimmer brick but you know what Isabel it's beautiful and I hope you use it so I got the shimmer brick in beige it looks like this and it's so pretty I love it and it gives you this like really beautiful glow. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the Jaclyn Hill face palette, but whenever I do wear this, like I always get compliments. People are always asking me what's on my face and I'll be like, it's the Bobby Brown Shimmer Brick, girl. And that concludes Namie's. Let's talk about Morphe. So I went to Morphe both days on Saturday and Sunday. And I honestly thought to myself on Sunday, I was like, why am I even here again? I don't really need anything. I got it all yesterday. Um, but because I went on Sunday with Isabel and she wanted to wait in line, I thought I'm already here. I might as well. So that's what happened. The first thing that I'm really excited about for Morphe are these two concealers. And I believe these are new releases. I'm not sure if they're already on the website or if they were like pre-releasing them at Fame Expo. I've had the chance to use these for a little bit. And I have to say, like, I really like these. They kind of have like this thicker, moussey kind of consistency. It's not as runny as like Sephora gel concealer. They're definitely a lot thicker and moussier. One of them is macchiato. One of them is bare skin. Um, one of them is pinkier and one of them is more yellow. So I use the yellow one for, I guess like spot concealing and the pinkier one I put underneath my eyes to brighten. I'm really impressed with these. Then for brushes, I did pick up one brush that I gave to my friend Linda. I did get her a blush brush. So this is the E8 brush and the way that I imagined to use this was actually to contour with. It's kind of like a domey shape, so I'll give that one a shot. I too also got a blush brush. I also don't know if you guys know this, but the E line is like their elite collection. Um, it used to be gray bristles and now they changed them into brown bristles. So if you guys were wondering like why they look different, um, I asked the same question. I was like, um, I thought these were supposed to be gray, but um, no, I guess they changed it. I also grabbed the E28 brush. This is like a fluffy crease brush. The M513, which is also another fluffy crease brush. I grabbed the M501 which is for highlight. I also have the E3 brush which is a powder brush. Uh, I grabbed another M513 and I grabbed the E29 which is a I guess eyebrow brush with a little spoolie at the end. So from Friends Beauty which is I would assume it's really similar to like Namie's. It just like sells other makeup brands. So this is what it looks like. It's not Friends like with an eye friends with just like the E. So the first thing that I got was this beauty blender kind of like thing. Now I'm sure you guys are very much aware of my obsession for beauty blenders. I collect beauty blenders. It comes with six sponges, the beauty blender cleanser solid. Each sponge itself is like $20 retail value. So six times $20 is like $120 and the cleanser itself is also $20. So it's like seven times 20, which is like 140. And this was only like 60 bucks. And I was like, mama needs to have this. I also got the Anastasia contour kit. Now I have the Kat Von D contour kit. I thought, well, I haven't tried the Anastasia one and Anastasia has really good products. So I decided to give it a shot. And so I haven't tried it yet. And then lastly, I got a Z palette. Now this Z palette is the extra large size, but the reason why I purchased these was because I got some stuff from Makeup Geek and my Makeup Geek palette is full, like chock full. So is it still filming? I think it's still filming. Okay, I was wrong. It did stop filming. I thought, why not transfer all of my Makeup Geek shadows into this extra large palette and then I'll use the large palette for some other shadows. Makeup Geek was there and I got to meet Marlena, insert picture here. And I also got to meet Coco Bear, insert picture here. Oh, like so exciting. They're such nice people. Oh, how cute. They gave me a little sticker because I'm a Makeup Geek. They had 
uh, I believe six duochrome eyeshadows that were exclusive to Fame Expo. Roxette, who I've already mentioned in this video before, she actually doesn't live in LA. And at the time when she was in LA, she did not have the chance to come with me to Fame Expo. I told her, hey, look, I'll go to Makeup Geek. I'll go get you your shadows for you. So I went ahead and got them for her. She gave me a shout out in her video. So if you want to check out the video, I'm going to link it down below. But I'm like, hey, Roxette. Girlfriend, you are hot fire. So this is Wildfire, this one is Kaleidoscope, this one is Sugar Rush, this one is Hologram, here we have Prism, this one is Mood Ring, Magic Act, and I'm Peachless. Now I'll go ahead and put a little asterisk down below to the ones that were exclusive to Fame Expo and the ones that are permanent, I won't put the asterisk. Um, but then I also got this eyeshadow in Mirage. I'm like so excited. I haven't touched them yet because I wanted to put them in the Z palette first, but then I wanted to haul first. So then I was like, okay, do the haul, then put them into the eyeshadow palette, then I can use them. Let's go ahead and talk about Dose of Color. <laughs> um, I have a few of the liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors and they are awesome. And because they had more selection available at Fame Expo and I was actually able to test some of their products, oh my gosh, like... I was in heaven. I wish I picked up some more stuff, but um, yeah, it's like really expensive. So I could only pick up what I could. I grabbed two of the Dose of Colors liquid matte lipsticks. So I have the shade Brick and the shade Bear With Me. So this one's Brick. And then I also have the shade Bear With Me, which looks like this. And then, okay, I've been wanting this palette for the longest time and it's been sold out on the website and it's limited edition so when I saw that they had it at Fame Expo I was like girl I have to have it so I grabbed the Hidden Treasure palette this is an eyeshadow palette some of them are matte and some of them are foil pressed eyeshadows the one thing I don't like about this um, I'm not sure if other people feel the same way is like the way that they're laid out how they're not really like laid out straight I don't know they like it kind of weirds me out. That's it with Dose of Colors. So I also was able to go to Jouer and Jouer did have their mermaid collection available. I only liked like two of the eyeshadows but you could only buy it in the pack. And I was like, mm, if I'm not gonna use the other two, I'd feel really bad to buy the whole set. So they had three lip glosses for $20 and normally one retails for 22. I was like, who wouldn't want this? Like, this is such a steal. I have the color Sorbet, which is like a pink nude. Tender, which is like a peachy nude. And these are quite sheer. Um, they're not really like high pigment, like what they look like in the tube. Uh, so don't expect them to be like that color. They're like a lot more sheer. This one is Divine. So. Lady Moss Beauty. They had a thing where if you bought Four lashes, it was $20, which um, I don't know if you guys know, but these ones normally go for like $6.50. So to like have them bring it down to like five bucks a pop, like that's a really good deal. So Isabel got two and then I got two, but um, I was able to grab the Queen Bee lashes. So these are Queen Bees and these ones are Goddess. I also stopped by Melt Cosmetics, which um, I've been wanting to try this eyeshadow stack forever. Unfortunately, in the process, I like totally jammed my finger in it. And like, now there's black eyeshadow all over. This one is Enigma. It's like a kind of maroon color. It's very pretty. I love this, it's so pretty. Next one is called Unseen. There you go, there you go. Beautiful. The next shade is actually the one that I was most excited about. This is the one I was like, uh uh, mama, gotta have it, gotta have it. This one's called Blur. All about it. So I can't wait to use this. We are nearing the end, people. So if you manage to stay to the very end, congratulations, because this is a doozy. The last place that I went to is called Eye Candy. So they specialize in loose glitters, they're not pigments. They're glitters. They were having a deal where if you buy six, they'll give you the liquid adhesive. I think it's called liquid sugar or something. So here's the liquid sugar. And um, I've tried the Lit Cosmetics Eye Adhesive and that stuff is good too. So um, I'm not sure how it compares to this, but I guess we'll give it a shot. So this is Jawbreaker. It's like silver. This one is confetti. So if you think that they're the same, they're not. This one kind of has more rainbow glitter 
in it as well as like silver. Okay, this is called Taffy. This one is like a copper color. It's very pretty. Double Bubble. This one's kind of like pink. So Double Bubble. Yellin Melon. And this one is more of like a gold. Marshmallow Sugar. And this one is like a white with some rainbow colors in there as well. And this is the one I'm actually thinking about using for my wedding because I love to wear glitter on my wedding, but I just don't really know how to use it. So I thought, why not take this opportunity to buy some glitter and practice with it and learn how to use it in hopes that on the wedding day, I can wear it. All right, guys, so that concludes today's haul. Um, if you guys could see the area around me, there are just bags everywhere i want to thank you guys so much for watching um if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and if you guys don't know i actually have twitter facebook and instagram and i will leave that all right here and down below for you guys to check out if you guys like this video don't forget to share it with your friends leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you're curious and want to talk to me about something down there that's where you do it i have nothing else to say except thanks guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye